My name is Elaine from Billmax, and in this video I'd like to show you how to configure your GNSS antenna as a network rover. It's really simple, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is open XPad and tap on settings. Then we want to go to our instrument settings and tap on GNSS and Total Station. Now from here we want to add a profile, so we'll tap on the plus symbol and then select GNSS. Now we'll give the profile a name, so I'll just call this Zenit 16 Network Profile. And then tick the plus. So from here, our mode is Rover, which is correct. Our brand is Geomax and our model is actually 16. So we're going to change that from a 15 to a 16. And then we'll tap on next. Okay, next we're going to set up the communication, which is going to be through Bluetooth. And then we need to select the device. So the device is the serial number of the antenna. So I know mine is in 743. So I'll tap on that and then tap next. Then I'm going to select the external GPRS, which is the controller. So we're basically going to use the data coming from there. Then I'll tap on next. And then I'm going to change these settings here. So my server is going to be SmartFix. And then I'm going to change my mount point to nearest. And then my format is going to be RTCM3 MSM. So we're going to change it to MSM because this takes Badio and Galileo as well. So with the rest of the settings I'll leave turned off. So then we'll tap on next. Then we're going to turn on our Badio and Galileo tracking. And then from here, our position update frequency. So we can set this to 5, 10, 20 times per second. So I'll just leave it at 5 for the minute. Then we'll tap on next. So this is our antenna. So with our antenna height, you can leave that at two meters because it's adjusted in the software later, or you can just put it to zero now and tap accept. So then the software will ask us, do we want to configure the receiver? Tap yes. And then the software will automatically push them settings into the antenna. So while it's configuring, it shouldn't take any longer than maybe 10 to 15 seconds, and then you'll get a receiver configured. Thanks for watching.